high pip3 install request hyphen hyphen target followed by a period this is telling the python installer to install the requests module and all its dependencies in the current directory consider this you have an aws lambda function that requires external python libraries to execute can you use aws cloud9 to upload the lambda function archive with external dependencies let's find out let's start by navigating to the lambda service then click on create function and give it a name choose python 3.10 from the runtime drop down because as of this recording 3.11 is still not fully supported with the aws toolkit then hit create function next i'm going to scroll down to the code source section then copy paste pre-written python code on line one and two i'm importing the json and the requests module inside the lambda handler i'm passing a new york zip code to this api url then grabbing the output in the output variable on line 8. on line 10 i'm converting the output.txt into a json object and on line 12 i'm extracting the place name into a place underscore name variable finally on line 14 i'm returning the place name string Hit deploy, then click on test and hit invoke to execute your Lambda function. As expected, we're getting an error message saying unable to import requests module because it's not available during runtime. Next, head to the Cloud9 service and click on create environment and give it a name. I'm going to leave the environment type to new, then select t3.small for instance type because it's faster than t2.micro. Let's leave all the other configuration options to their default values, then hit create. Give it a few minutes for the environment to come up, then click on open, then click on the AWS icon in the left toolbar. Expand Lambda, find the Lambda function that we just created, right click, then hit invoke on AWS. Hit invoke and confirm that you see the same error message. Next, head to the bash tab and type the ls or the list command and you should only see a readme file in your current directory. Right click on your lambda function one more time, hit download, then select the default folder and you should see a downloading lambda function message at the very top. Type the ls command in your bash terminal one more time, and this time, you should see an additional folder for your lambda function. Use the cd or change directory command to go inside your lambda function folder and confirm that you see a lambda underscore function dot py file. Next, type pip3 install requests hyphen hyphen target followed by a period. This is telling the Python installer to install the requests module and all its dependencies in the current directory. If you run the ls command one more time, you should see the requests module and all its other dependencies in the current directory in addition to your lambda function.py file. Now that we have all of our dependencies installed, let's upload the lambda function by right clicking on it then hit upload choose directory followed by upload a zip of the selected directory select your lambda function folder and give it a few seconds and you should see your lambda function was successfully uploaded message at the very top let's confirm this by going back to the lambda console and hitting refresh scroll down to the core source section and confirm that you see all the dependency folders. Click on test, then hit invoke to execute your Lambda function and confirm that you see the place name as the response in the execution logs without any errors. You can also confirm this behavior by invoking your Lambda function 
from the Cloud9 IDE. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the AWS Lambda function throw a party?